So in today's video, we're going to be going from this beautiful, fluffy, just gorgeous 36 inch hair, okay, to these really cute little tight wand curls on the right. So if you wanna see how I achieve this, stay tuned. So in today's video, we're going to be working with Ash Mary hair. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a 13 by four transparent lace front wig, 36 inches, 250% density. And this is what you get inside of your baggie. Obviously a wig cap, a bonnet, and some hair tools, which are gonna obviously come in handy in this install. And here is the 13 by four transparent lace front wig. I did go in and bleach the knots because this lace was a little bit too light for me, but you can definitely go in and tint it. You don't have to bleach it. So this is what it looked like after. It is a little bit, you know, over bleached a little bit, but I prefer mine to be a little over bleached because it kind of helps with making it look a little bit more natural. And as you can see, the hair is really, really pretty. The natural texture of it is absolutely gorgeous. But you guys have been asking me for wand curls, okay? A tutorial on how I wand curl. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it on this gorgeous, gorgeous hair. So this is what it looks like after I've rinsed out the conditioner. It's so pretty and I just love it. But we're gonna go in with a blow dryer and we're gonna blow dry her out. I was gonna air dry it, but I didn't have time to do that. But I prefer to air dry my hair personally because obviously it puts a lot less heat or damage on the hair. But in this case, I'm just gonna go in with my blow dryer to get it as straight as possible. And this blow dryer, I'm pretty sure is from Revlon. I got it from Walmart some years ago. So yeah, you can use whatever blow dryer works for you, but this is the one that I'm gonna be using in this video. So this is what it looks like after I blow dry it. I absolutely love the texture of like curly slash wavy hair. After you blow dry it, it has so much volume and I only do my wand curls on hair that has texture because they come out the best, okay? When I tell you, if you do them on straight hair, the curls are not gonna last as long. So definitely try it on some curly or wavy hair. So I did go in and trim the ends a little bit because with curly hair, sometimes the ends could get a little straggly. So I did trim the ends and this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it looks very, very voluptuous and healthy and thick and I love it, okay? If I could just wear the hair like this, I would, but it would be all over the place. So yeah, this is what the wig looks like, completely blow dried out. So this is the wand curler that I'm gonna go in with. I'm pretty sure this is a half an inch and it is tapered at the end. And I got this on Amazon. It came with like five different curling wands or curling heads. And basically I'm just gonna wrap little sections of hair around the wand. And because the sections are gonna be small, it doesn't take long at all for the curl to form. So as you can see, they look like so cute, just like curly Sue little curls. And in the back, I'm pretty much gonna do like five, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna try to keep them all the same size. So I'm just gonna go through the back and do that on all of the hair. And I'm gonna literally, literally do this to the entire wig. And it is gonna take a little while. Honestly, it didn't take me that long because the curls are small and it goes by really quick. So honestly, this took me a good 30 minutes, I would say, and I was watching something. So I was occupied and I was just, in a groove, like I was just going. So yeah, as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. It is sped up, but even if it wasn't sped up, as soon as you get to the bottom of the curl, wrapping it, it's already time to take it off because it's so hot. The freaking curly wand is so hot and the curls are small, so the heat gets through it a lot quicker. So yeah, like I said, this took about 30 minutes for this entire wig. And you could obviously do smaller sections if you like, because some people like theirs to be very, very, very small and just very full. So if you wanna do that, definitely go for that look. It would be hella cute. But I just thought that this would be the perfect size curl for this wig. I don't know why, but I just really wanted some like kind of small, kind of not too small wand curls so I could fluff them out and do this really, really cute look over time. And you guys will see, I didn't actually like comb or manipulate the curls in the end because I want them to grow over time because that's like the best way to go about this. You don't wanna waste all your hard work. So just let it get bigger over time and I promise you it's still gonna be cute as hell.
So this is what the curls are looking like. They are so bouncy and just, I love it. They're so cute. You can go in with some hairspray at this point if you want to, you know, preserve them. But I just waited until the end. And as you can see, I'm making my way to the top. And when you get to the front, like the frontal of the wig, you want to get as close to the root as possible. You guys will see what it looks like in a second. But for me personally, I want the curl to literally be coming out of the root. I don't want to start like a little bit down. I want it to be like curled from the root all the way to the very end because that's just, it's so cute to me. But as you can see, I'm just doing the same thing all the way until I get to the top and we are almost there, okay? As you can see, the curls are looking real, real nice. They are so juicy and I just, I honestly don't even want to touch them because they just look so cute and I don't want to ruin them, but this is what they're looking like so far. And at this point, I think I was going for about 20 to 25 minutes. So it goes by pretty quick. I promise you, it seems like it may take forever, but it doesn't actually take that long. So as you can see in the front, I did go very, very, very close to the root as you guys can see, or you'll see in a second. And this is what the curls are looking like. Just so bouncy and just perfect. At this point, I did spray some hairspray on them just to kind of, you know, keep them intact a little bit so they can last a little longer. But as you can see in the front, I did curl all the way from the root to the very, very, very end of the curl. So that is how I wand curl my hair. And now I'm just going to do a quick little install. So you guys know how I do it. I just add some makeup inside. You don't even have to do this, especially if you bleach the knots. But if you bleach the knots to a color that's a little bit off, then you can go in with some powder. And I'm just gonna plop this wig on my head, do my same little routine that you guys see in every video. I don't go too in detail with my installs. I just put them on, spray some hairspray in the front, and then tie it down with an elastic band, do my little baby hairs, and that's it, okay? So this is what the wig looks like. As you can see, the lace is very, very light on me, which is why I had to you know, alter the color a little bit, but this is what the curls are looking like. They are super, just look how healthy they look. They're shiny, they're bouncy, they just look so full of life, and I am in love with these curls, okay? If you've never tried doing like really small wand curls on a wig, sis, go get one of your curly wigs, one of your wavy wigs, blow dry it. Honestly, you don't even have to blow dry it. You could just let it dry if you've washed it and then brush out the curls so it gets nice and poofy and then do the wand curls and i promise you you won't regret it okay i love these curls so much i didn't even want to touch them but this is what they look like i am in love okay So here I'm just gonna cut off the excess. I did kind of cut off a little bit too much and I didn't realize it, but you wanna cut the lace that's over your ear because it is kind of irritating. So basically because I did cut a little bit too much, I am gonna go in in the future and add like an elastic band so that this piece can lay down a little bit better because as you can see, it's a little bit above my ear. So I definitely cut off too much, but that's okay, it's a very easy fix. Just add an elastic band and you'll be good to go. And then you just wanna pull out the excess hair that comes out from cutting it. And then I'm gonna take my olive oil spray like I always do and just literally spray it directly on the lace. And that's it, okay. I am a lazy installer and I make it work because to be honest, I don't wear these wigs overnight anyway. So I just don't feel the need to go all in and go too crazy and be doing all these layers and all these things just to take the wig off that same day, you know? So 
This is just how I do it, but you can use whatever adhesive spray or whatever it is that you use to lay your wigs down. And yeah, that is what we're doing right here. So then of course I'm gonna take my elastic band and I'm gonna lay her down. I get a roll of elastic from Amazon and you could just, you can honestly get it from anywhere but I just got mine from Amazon because it was really cheap. And I'm just gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and I actually did go in with a blow dryer off camera to kind of speed up the process. But basically I'm gonna leave that on and then I'm just gonna kind of manipulate the curls the way that I want them to be. So I'm just gonna kind of fluff them out a little bit. I don't wanna add too much frizz just yet because I want them to do that on their own over time. So as you can see, they are a little bit fluffier and a little bit frizzier, but that's okay because I wanted to kind of get rid of the uniform look because it was it wasn't it wasn't doing it for me okay so this is what it looks like after i played with it a little bit and then here is the final result as you can see i just did some quick little baby hairs in the front they're a little lopsided girl but the point of this video was the curls okay so these are the curls they are so cute this would be really cute if you pin back like one side of the hair put like a little I don't know, like a hair clip or something. That would be so freaking cute. But that is all I have in today's video. Definitely be sure to check out Ashmiri Hair. The link will be down below for this wig. Definitely go ahead and check them out. I absolutely love the texture. Everything about this wig is so soft, so fluffy. Definitely try her out and let me know if you guys like this video down below and I'll see you in my next one.